Okay, so the next question is, as a project manager moving into Agile, should I attend the Certified Scrum Master or the Certified Scrum Product Owner course? And um, Mindy, this is a, a question that we get quite on quite a regular basis, and so we thought it was worth um, recording kind of some, some thoughts um, to that, um, given that there's a number of people who are interested in, the, in that particular question. Is that right? Um, that's right, yeah. I probably get an inquiry every week um, with from, from people in various roles, project managers, um, people who've been business analysts, uh, people who want to move into IT from um, other areas of the business who are looking to credential themselves to participate in, um, in agile projects in their organisation. So yep. I, the, the, um, the simple answer is it depends. Um, and, and the choice that you're making is a choice between whether you want your role to be as part, you, you want to be part of an agile team or part of a scrum team or you want to be a customer of that team. So if you want to be part of the team, um, then the Certified Scrum Master course is the course that, that would um, best suit you. If you want to be, or you are, working in a role where you're the customer of a Scrum team, then the Certified Scrum Product Owner course is the course that um, I'd recommend. So um, that is a, um, that's a fairly clear cut choice to be made there. Um, the Certified Scrum Master course, however, is a good grounding for anyone who is new to Scrum. Um, mm. It covers the, the artifacts, the ceremonies, the roles, um, and the, uh, the practices that a, a successful and effective Scrum team adopts, um, and sets you up to work in any role as part of a scrum team. So in a scrum team, there are only three roles. There is the, um, the, the scrum master, the product owner, and a team member. And team members can come from a variety of technical backgrounds. So um, there will be analysts, there will be architects, there will be developers. Um, there will be people for whom technology is not their first discipline uh, participating in a scrum team. Scrum, um, certified scrum product owner, we are, um, really is about what your responsibilities are as the client of a scrum team. So your role is to make sure the right product is built. The scrum team's role is to make sure they build the product right. Mm. So as um, the, the certified scrum product owner course is more about stakeholder management, about um, about communicating with a scrum team in a way that gives them what they need to, to build the product that you're after. It's about defining what, um, what done looks like for the team. So how do they know they've done what you asked them to? So as a scrum certified scrum product owner, you really are the decider. You, you, you determine what product's going to be built. As a certified Scrum Master, you're facilitating the building of the product. So they're qu two quite different roles. Yep. Um, one of the things I was just going to add in is, um, so Equinox IT uh, delivers both these courses through uh, our Scrum training partners. So we have uh, Rowan Bunning through um, Scrum with Style, um, who, who comes out, he's based in Australia, comes out regularly to New Zealand to deliver both those courses. And we also work with Simon Bennett, from lasting benefits. Thank you. <laughs> um, so the points I was going to to add to what um, you've said, Mindy, um, is I guess understanding you, you talked a little bit about the of the roles that are in Scrum. Um, so there's no official project manager role in, in Scrum. Having said that, um, it depends how pure your organisation is at, at applying Scrum, but but for the official approach in terms of Scrum, there's no um, official product project manager sorry, role. And so, and, and, and the style and nature of Agile projects in Scrum means that that sort of, that 
old style project manager approach of potentially at times doing a bit of command and control is not so strong in, in projects that, that follow these, these approaches. Um, there's more of a focus on self-managing cross-functional teams and, and there's um, you know, terms such as servant leader and, and that type of thing. And, and, and I'm not the, the best person to, to talk about that and there'll be you know, other content on the Equinox site and, and future blabs where some of our practitioners will talk about that, that more. But what it means as a project manager is as you move into Agile or move on to a Scrum project, is kind of potentially just reshaping um, how you contribute to the success of that project. It might be different than the way you've done it in, in the past. So when, um, uh, and I, I just grabbed um, from uh, Mike Cohn, who um, in the States runs a company, Mountain Goat Software, and he he defines the Scrum Master as um, the Scrum Master is responsible for making sure a Scrum team leaves, lives by the values and practices of Scrum. So they are, are more of a coach, they help the team do the best work that they can, they are the process owner, if you like, of, of the Scrum process and ensuring that is followed to, to as, as Mindy said, um, how did you describe it, Mindy, um, to do the work right? No, yes. Yeah, yeah, to do the work right. Yeah, um, and then and then the product owner um, again, uh, and I'm paraphrasing a bit here from what Mike Cohn had. Uh, the Scrum product owner is typically the project's key stakeholder. They hold the vision for the product. They make the product decisions on behalf of the company. Um, um, and they make decisions around the product backlog and the prioritization of features in each sprint. So, so kind of my, um, so yeah, which is pretty much what, what Mindy said and, and they are quite, quite sort of separate roles. And so as a project manager moving into a Scrum or Agile project, then um, my gut feeling is that um, the areas that you may initially be involved in will be helping the, that project team deliver, which is more of the scrum master type of thing. And, and quite often the scrum product owner role may be someone who's a business representative. Um, at times we see um, a, a kind of a business analyst who's given that role just, or, or fills in that role at times because the business can't commit that level of, of involvement in the project team. Um, but it could be the project manager if they were asked to, um, to help make the prioritization decisions um, for for um, for the product and, and take on a product manager role. So um, so I guess where I got to and and be interested in your thoughts, Mindy, is that um, if you are choosing between one or two, then um, maybe the, the certified Scrum Master role is, is the best first step. But I mean, we have a number of people at Equinox IT who have actually attended both courses um, because um, at times they fulfill um, elements of both roles. And so that may be um, as a second step or at some point worth actually considering um, you know, attending both at, at some point as well. I agree with you. And I think there's, a, um, there's a, another reason that supports attending both. Um, as a as a certified scrum as a scrum master, you will need to work with a certified scrum, or you work with a scrum product owner, and yep. um, it will help you work with a product owner better if you understand how to coach and support them in delivering on the responsibilities of their role. And likewise, as a product owner, yep. um, you can be a more effective product owner if you understand uh, what's driving and what the scrum team are driving to. Yeah. So um, it always pays to know what your what your delivery partners and um, what the people that you're working with and for are, are responsible for and how they're going to um, deliver on that. Yeah. All right, very good. Um, I guess if, if anyone has interest in either of those courses, um, both courses are available on the Equinox uh, IT website and um, we have regular scheduled public courses where you can book yourself a, a place on those courses and um, they also either course can be run as an in-house course if your organisation is looking at uh, delivering that training to a team. Yep and those courses are next available in New Zealand in May. Great. And um, just to give a context of this video is looked at in the future, so that's uh, May 2016 and we're currently recording this in uh, March 2016 and uh, 
if you're watching this at any point after those dates, then um, yeah, once again, go to the Equinox website, you can look at the courses, you can see the upcoming dates. All right, any other comments on that, Mindy, or shall we um, end that question there? That's the end for me.